Youngstown Phantoms post-game interviews are presented by the YMCA. Brad, your thoughts on the game? Uh, good atmosphere. Kids' day game. Um, you know, they're always in the environment that you know it's going to be noisy, a different type of noise, and you're going to see a bunch of smiles. And, and it's good to come out and see our guys with smiles on it. Um, you know, that being said, I, I thought, obviously, the team we're playing is a tremendous team. Ton of talent, ton of uh, ton of experience and, and flash and IQ. I mean, you go on and on and on about about many of their players, but I felt gradually as the game went, we got better and better and better. Um, I thought early we weren't great on on loose pucks, um, and, and they beat us to the punch. And, and their quickness is often going to do that, but uh, I, I felt we were a little bit stale, um, you know. And, and then there was a ton of special teams throughout the course of that game, and to do that, you, you miss out on a ton of the ton of the flows and the, and the ebbs in the game and it, it's hard to get everybody involved and engaged and, and once we did um, you know I felt like we were much better uh, you know our last 30 minutes being much better than our first 30 and Jacob was great in that um, I'll be op opportunistic offensively we, we really didn't get a ton of looks until you know we started to, to shoot from off angles there in the third period um, you know happy happy to get the two points uh, regardless of how it looked uh, through the first 20 or 30 minutes your team acquired Tiernan Chowdy from the Des Moines Buccaneers yesterday, and he made it into town at about midnight uh, this morning and was able to get into the lineup. What did you think of the uh, fourth-year forward uh, out of Michigan? He was great. Uh, like you said, he was, we, we didn't go over anything. Um, you know, Usually when you acquire somebody, you, you have time to, um, to practice and go over some systematic stuff and habits, and a lot of it's language from, from new players to coaches, just how different terminology works and you know he came in he's he's been around he, he didn't need need a ton and our expectation was hey you're gonna play in the middle have some energy and um, you know we'll piece you in here and there and, and start to figure it out and you know by the end of the game he was playing important situations not to say that at the start he, he we didn't plan on it um, but that's the type of player that we we're looking to acquire and that's why we've we've looked at him here for a while um, he's gonna be a big big piece for us here moving forward and I'm I'm happy he's he's in now and, and starts to get a little bit of a taste of it. And then, you know, we really won't have a practice with him until next week. But, um, you know, he's a guy that's experienced it that should be up for the challenge. Brad, I don't think we've had a first-year player here like Adam Ingram since Cam Morrison. How special is Adam? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's a threat to score all the time. Um, you know, his, his shots second to none. Um, you know, he's able to pick his spots. And he, he's becoming... Uh, a target for other teams, like other other teams' best players are always playing against him. So he's he's had more and more of a challenge as the years gone on, um, and he's going to continue to see that top end player see see you know top shut down guys on the other side. Um, you know, guys take their liberties sometimes on him, and he keeps you know he keeps putting his nose in there and, and continuing to attack. So um, you know, I think that's a fair comparison. Him and Cam when he came in, I think they're completely different players in a sense, both scoring forwards, but did did the scoring drastically differently. Um, but he's he's an exceptional talent that uh, you know everyone maybe the, maybe the kids here didn't didn't understand that but I know uh, I know our fans do and, and they're excited for him in his future. Shane Lachance, Justin Varner, Grant Porter, you put that lineup together this past weekend. They had 11 points against Muskegon and they were buzzing again here tonight. What do you think makes that lineup click? I think a little bit of everything. Um, you know when we put them together, they're all they're all versatile, can play kind of any position. Um, they're sound for 200 feet, all three of them. They're not, uh, you know, they don't lean heavily towards the defensive end or the offensive end. They're, they're going to play for 200 feet. They're going to make you pay in a lot of different situations. We have no issue playing them against the other team's best lines. And, and when we have the ability to match lines, we often do. And, and on the flip side of that, they're going to create offense. Um, so, you know, they've been a big piece for us here the last three or four games, and they'll continue to be. Um, Shane got a little bit dinged up early in that in that first, so we didn't see him much the, the second half. But, um, you know, those three guys, they're, they're big pieces for us and, and will be. Right, thanks, Brett.